Hey friends, how's it going? Hey boo. Welcome to my new setup. This is gonna be the new setup for about a month or so. I'm still in temporary housing right now, but I will be making the move to my permanent house at the end of this month, probably. I'll be starting an Instagram account soon and I'll detail more about my move, my first impressions, things like that in the Instagram, which I will link below. All right, let's get started, shall we? I find that when you move to a new place, it's a really good time to really reflect on your life and all the past things that you were doing. Think about how to make new changes into your life and good reflection time in general. In this video, I wanted to share with you guys three quotes that I think have really changed my life and they still inspire me a lot every day. Yes, Boop will be joining us today too. The first quote is the meaning of a bird is to fly, of a cat to hunt. Are you a hunter? The purpose of man is to learn and create by Anne Rand. Anne Rand is an author and philosopher that has had a lot of controversies over the years and I'm not going to talk about her political systems and all those different things. It's a large chunk of her philosophy that I don't agree with but this quote has really really changed my life. Back in college and even my master's degree I was really really obsessed with finding meaning in my life like finding something that i felt was purposeful and i could dedicate my passion and energy towards you see i'm a pretty greedy person um to me i didn't just want a career i didn't want something that i would just go as a nine to five job and come back and then spend the rest of my life like i'm really greedy i want my passion and my career to be really intertwined with each other i wanted it to be something that i felt was purposeful was meaningful and since we spend so much time doing our work and working on careers i wanted my passion to be my career so so i was like okay i gotta start figuring out what it is i'm gonna spend most of my life doing right so i read a lot of books and i also watched a lot of videos primarily on like how to find your purpose in life like how do you know what's important how do you know what you're good at doing things like that but i found the more that i read these books and the more videos that i watched Watch, it would actually make me more confused. There was never anything that really stood out to me. Like when I read this book over here, it was telling me like, oh, I have to like think back to my past and think about like, what was the thing that motivated me as a child and how do I exemplify that in my career? I, I don't even know what, what I did as a kid. You know, I just like ran around and just played a lot. Like there wasn't anything that just stuck out to me. And then I read like, what color is your umbrella? And I have no idea what color my umbrella is. And then I read Cal Newport's So Good They Can't Ignore You, which is just basically just about like choose a career path and then dedicated your life to it eventually you will find joy in the things that you are you've been doing as you get better at it which i don't think is false but i don't know like for me like thinking about having to spend 10 years doing something that i may or may not like and just kind of hoping that eventually i will love it i don't know i i don't think i would be disciplined enough to actually keep doing that i started rereading Anne Rand's fiction books um and this wasn't really for my career or anything i just wanted to reread her books i really love the book we the living which is her first fiction book and then i eventually started reading her nonfiction books as well and this is when the aha moment came for me it was to learn and to create you see like i've spent all my time just like learning about stuff i was like doing all this abstract research about how to find my career how to do these things whatever it is like over and over again and what i realized is that i hadn't really done any creating part the purpose of man is to learn and to create like that was what i was missing that was actually what inspired me to start this youtube channel um at that time i was like i learned so much stuff about data science you know i learned about career i learned about how i got here computer science what I needed to do was all that information that I learned, synthesize that and just start producing, start creating things. Did I know exactly where this was going to go? No. In fact, I still have no idea where this is going to go, but I think I'm on the right path. I feel so much more fulfilled now being able to take stuff that I learned, synthesize that in some way, and then disseminate that knowledge in another form to other people. And this isn't just in terms of my YouTube channel. If you've ever watched my past YouTube videos, like how I would learn to code if I could do it again, or how to learn technical things, which I will link up there you know that my philosophy towards learning stuff is to learn the basics of something and then start applying that and be very project focused learn the minimum and then do a project and this philosophy was really inspired by Anne Rand nowadays instead of trying to just learn everything understand everything and set out this perfectly aligned path for myself all I do now is grasp onto this concept of just learning things that I find interesting that I think are useful to me and then start creating and producing things and what I realize is that the more that you do this 
this, you'll realize that the things that you learn will inspire you to create something. What you create will eventually inspire you to actually learn more and then you restart that cycle over and over again until you become more knowledgeable and also better and better at the things that you want to be good at. I still have no idea how things are going to turn out for me but I really just clung on to this idea now and I just keep doing that and I have faith that someday I'll look back on my life and just like Steve Jobs said in his commencement speech you'll see how the dots that are there they kind of connect with each other and ultimately made you who you are so I have faith in that. Another quote that inspires me every day is by Annie Dillard and it is the way that you spend your days is the way that you spend your life. Honestly, I haven't read any of Annie Dillard's books. I believe she is an American novelist, but I just kind of came across this book at some point. I don't know where. Uh, at that time, I was like, oh yeah, like whatever, this sounds this sounds quite nice. You know, good um, like Pinterest quote or like good quote to put on your wall or something. But this quote became really, really special to me after I ran across a YouTuber called Emily Hayward. She was a personal trainer who's based in the UK and she actually passed away three years Years ago. She's had a really long struggle with melanoma, metastatic melanoma, which is cancer of the skin that has spread throughout her body. She's been dealing with that for I believe seven or eight years, I think. Her attitude towards life was what really illustrated this quote for me. It really brought it to life. Her channel is all vlog style channels in which she just documents her day to day life. And she's one of the people that can truly say that she lived every single day until the day that she died. I think what's really special about her is that she wasn't the type of person to just kind of sit there and just say inspirational things. All the days that she showed, they were real and they were raw. It showed how she dealt with bad news. It showed how she was able to turn around days that weren't going very well, but she always made them memorable in death. Each day, without even saying it, you could just tell how much she loved life, how she loved her wife, uh, how she loved her family, and just passion for the gym, and just so much love for all the things that are there. She was so incredibly grateful for all the things that she had, and she really lived so intentionally. In a way, this is a small tribute to her and she's someone that I do think about at least once a week. This may sound a little bit corny, but she's really taught me how to live my life more intentionally. Not to let the things that happen around me define how my days go, but define it myself. No matter what it is that happens, be determined to make each day intentional and meaningful. And I don't know how long that I'm going to live for, but hopefully at the end of my life, I will be able to look back and all those little days that kind of added together over the years. And, I, and then I can really say that I lived a life that was intentional, uh, that was full of meaning and a life that I was proud of. And number three, this is the classic quote by James Clear, which I can't not include from Atomic Habits. And that is, you don't rise to the level of your goals, you fall to the level of your systems. I recently made a video about the systems of habits that have changed my life, which I will link somewhere over there. This is a quote that I also do think about a lot, at least once a day I would say. What it means is that motivation is fickle, passion is also fickle, goals in themselves are also fickle. I like to think of it as in you can have the fire of passion and the fire of motivation, but without having the kindle to actually sustain that fire, it's not going to last. And that Kindle is what you spend your time doing, constantly collecting Kindle and spreading it out throughout the months and the years. It's your systems that raise you up. So it's really important to spend the majority of your time focusing on building these systems in your life. And once you have these good habits in place, you'll find that some days when you're full of passion and energy and feel like you can just power through things, that's when you can experience these small breakthroughs that let you get a peek at the next level of what you're trying to accomplish. And it's so satisfying. I'll give you guys a really concrete example first. Say you want to go to the gym because you want to be fit and you want to be healthy or you just want to get a six pack. <laughs> Whatever reason it is that you want to do that, you'll find that there's going to be days that are really, really good days and you can just lift a little bit heavier than normal. And that's when the breakthrough happens. It feels super, super satisfying. Another example is like, say you're working on data science, right? For me, it's like what happens is that in the beginning when I would work on analyses, you know, I would just go through the motions of it, it would be a struggle and I would do it anyway because, you know, I'm trying to build that habit of it. And at some point I realized like, hey, like I suddenly discover this way of thinking or this insight and it's just like, wow. Like, I feel like I've just leveled up in a way. And of course, there's going to be bad days as well, right? And it's those days when your systems support you. There's some days when I really don't want to go to the gym, but 
I do because it's a habit, it's a system, so I do it anyway. And there's some days when I really don't want to live stream when I do my study with me, but I do it because it's a system and it's a habit. And other days when I really don't want to film, um, but I do it again because it's a habit. Over time, you'll find that your baseline actually starts getting higher and higher. And every time if you were to fall, you would fall a little bit less. And then when you go higher up, it's also just a little bit more within your reach. When I go through my days, I actually like to keep a mental note of how I feel on that day. There are some days when I'm like, the fire of, of motivation is within me today. And I would feel confident that I can just reach a little bit higher and just strive for something greater. And there's other days that, uh, you know, I'm not having a really good day and that's when I still feel confident though because I know that my systems would be there to catch me. All right, we have come to the end of this video. It's time to say bye. Say bye, boop. Bye. All right, I'll see you guys in the next video or live stream.